is um, this was uh, a lesion that was um, picked up by my um, colleague on a non-con CT. Uh, there was this little um, lesion in the right midpole, uh, and so he recommended uh, a renal protocol CT, uh, which the patient went on to get. Um, so when I saw this case, um, I here we go. Let me see if I can zoom in. There. What do you guys think? So here's the lesion. Um, it's enhancing avidly, um, somewhat dense. Um, and then we don't really see the washout yet, but on the, you can see a washout here on the nephrographic phase. And it looks like it has like a cone sign, like an ice cream cone sign. Yeah, right, right. So that, that, when I saw like this, you can see angiomyelopomas do that. Yeah, right. So I, I saw that exact same thing. I, I was reading the post um, uh, resection follow up, but when I first saw this, I'm like, oh, it's a lipid pour AML. amount. Um, and that's what it turned out to be. It was a lipid pour AML. Um, so lipid pour AML, they um, get these, I don't know how specific these things are, but every time I've seen them, it, it turns out to be AML. Um, so they are dense. So typically the way you differentiate a lipid poor AML from a clear cell um, is that on non-con they're dense. So they're typically about like 40 household unit compared to um, clear cell, which are about 30. Um, they apparently have reduced washout compared to clear cell, but that's harder to sort of assess. And they have this cream cone um, shaped appearance, which um, Arthi mentioned. Um, on MR, they're um, typically, because they're dense, they're like T2, um, it's T2, let me see what it is, T2 dark, like papillaries. Um, but the wash and wash out is similar to um, uh, clear cell. So yeah, this cream, so this patient went on to get a partial um, nephrectomy and it came back as um, a lipid pore AML, which I thought was really cute. Um, have, do you guys I mean, ever, like, I mean, if in pers perspectively, I, I would have said, um, that in the DDX and like would have just recommended a biopsy instead of a partial nephrectomy. Um, what would you guys have said? Would you have called it benign? Leave it alone or like further workup needed? Sort of curious. For me, lesions like this are going to overlap the appearance of RCCs and it's going to be hard to feel confident. Uh, and depending on practice patterns locally, mm -hmm. Uh, you could biopsy or not. This is, it doesn't look like the easiest thing to biopsy, so it might just go to a partial resection. Mm. Yeah, I would uh, I would bring up the lipid pore AML, though. I think the ice cream cone sign is a good one because it basically is because it's like a soft tumor. So it's growing like a clear cell RCC will grow like a ball and kind of like go like that, whereas the AML has to like have space to grow um, in the fat around the kidney. So I think it, like, to me, it's pretty suggestive of an AML. So you could at least raise that possibility so they don't have to go to surgery. They could do biopsy and ablate it at the same time or whatever it is, you know? Yeah, we often biopsy, but many of these can go on to sur surveillance. And that seems to be an option that even our urologists are using more commonly. And I think the AUA guidelines also suggest that it's appropriate for lesions smaller than a centimeter.